Welcome back to Science with Mrs Crane and Mr Einstein. What we're going to be looking at are a few more uh, chemical reactions that we see happening. Now these ones involve fire and so as a result Mr Einstein's going to take a little bit of space back because he's flammable and we don't want him to burn. What we're going to look at firstly is methylated spirits and what happens if we ignite it. Part of this is actually kind of important for you to realise so that if you ever do come across a fire that has come from a liquid chemical such as a petrol or methylated spirits, you know what to do and what not to do. One of the first things you don't do is you don't put water on the fire and the second thing you don't do is you don't blow it out. Now we did this in class with just a small evaporating basin, a real little bit of methylated spirits, you don't need much. And we also had handy a small heat mat and a large heat mat and we did it on the heat mat in the bench. Now this just gives us protection because whenever you burn things it does get hot. Um, but you can easily put this fire out by smothering it. And that's what I like to show students. I want them to become familiar with how to put out fires like this and um, basically how they work. And methylated spirits is often used in a lot of burners um, that you can purchase commercially. So it is something that you can come into contact with very easily. It's important to know how to use it. Um, with what's in there, methylated spirits at this point, you can smell it in the air then that means that it's vaporised. So while a lot of it's still remaining as a liquid, and its boiling point is actually far above room temperature, um, it still will actually vaporise lower. It means it starts to evaporate. If I light it with a match, I don't even have to touch the liquid, but you can see it burning with a nice orange flame. This is an example of a chemical reaction because we're seeing heat and light produced from this. And if we let it go completely, you actually notice that the uh, methylated spirits will disappear by the end. And that's because it's being used up in the combustion reaction. So, the important thing we do with this is we get our heat mat and we practice putting it on top and putting it out. Now, I always make a point that if it spills, just stand back, let me know, and come over and again touch it with a bigger heat mat. If the bench, for example, goes on fire. Just put a big heat mat on it all. Okay, so again, everyone loves lighting fires, but it's important to know how to be safe with it. Okay, this is still a hot flame, but not nearly as hot as our Bunsen on the blue flame. Um, so it's warm enough, but um, if we do get something like a heat mat, we can easily use it to put it out and smother it, and it's gone out. Now this does get hot, so we were careful not to touch it but we let it burn because it's fun to see and all the while the chemicals in ethanol which is the main part of methylated spirits are being turned into uh, water H2O and carbon dioxide CO2 it is possible to actually light this from a bit higher up especially since it started being vaporised. So I'm not even touching the edge of the bowl and it's already igniting. Just to show you with um, petrols and gases that you do need to be careful lighting it. You need to be careful like at places like um, uh, petrol stations and whenever you're fueling something to keep any sources of flame away from it. Because you, as you can see, you don't have to have the flame really close to it to ignite it. This is a small amount in a small area at a reasonably room temperature room. At higher temperatures, it'll vaporise faster and the air will just get filled thick with it. Okay, well there's enough of that. Whoops. Isn't it great to see when things don't work? Had to fully cover it. Okay, put that aside. 